Okay, so before going through the code, let's actually use our DAP. So go to the week nine folder, lecture, off chain, front end. And here's a Next.js app. Go to the source code, pages, and in the app pages, there's the block for key you have to replace with your own. And here I'm using only NAMI because I didn't bother to integrate a bunch of wallets, but if you want to use a different one, you just need to change these few lines. So once you change all this, you can navigate in the terminal to workspace called with nine lecture of J frontend and PM install and PM run that. If we open our website, we'll be greeted with this beautiful front end, if I can say myself. Okay, so let's deploy the Oracle. I created a few handy wallets. So I will choose the Oracle's wallet to this. As you can see, I don't have anything more than 2000 test data. I will refresh. Yeah. We are using the correct wallet and hit the Mint Oracle's button. As you can see, this transaction will create and give me an asset that is the Oracle's NFT. Let's sign. Transaction submitted. I'm going to copy this just in case, but the only thing I need to do is to wait for a bit. Oh, it's already there. Awesome. We already minted the NFT we're going to use to identify the Oracle and we send it to a wallet. I could be using the same wallet as the stablecoin owner, but I just chose to keep them separate to manage the Oracle and the smart contracts separately. So now that we have the NFT, let's deploy the Oracle. Just clicking here. As you can see, we're losing one asset. That's the Oracle NFT. And if we see in the details, the recipient is a smart contract that takes the Oracle NFT. So if we go back, sign. Transaction submitted. So if we wait for a bit, this deploy button will be disabled and these two will be enabled once my front end detects that the UTXO is already there. So as you can see here, oh, that's it. There's the NFT is no more because now it's in the actual Oracle and the front end detected that the Oracle is already there. So now I cannot either mint nor deploy the Oracle, but I can update it or delete it. And here we have the Oracle address and the Oracle UTXO. As you can see here, I use the default value of 100. That means that the Oracle is providing the price of ADA in US cents. So in this simulation, the ADA is worth 100 cents, meaning one US dollar. Here we have the value provided by the Oracle. And if we actually navigate using our Explorer, we can see that here we consume the UDXO in our wallet containing the NFT and producing one containing the same NFT in this address that is the Oracle's address. And if we check out the datum, we see that indeed is a hundred cents. Awesome. So we have the Oracle. Now we have to deploy our script. To do that, we're going to change to the owner tab. And here, the only choice we have to make is to choose the minimum percentage of collateral. If we leave it like it's now, we have to lock 150% of the value minted. But before doing that, let's change to the other wallet, stablecoin wallet, stablecoin owner, and refresh. Awesome. Now I can deploy the scripts. Sign.
as you can see, when we deploy the scripts, we use that minimum percentage collateral as parameter to the minting policy. So now we know the stablecoin policy ID and the asset class that it's dependent of this value. So if we change this, we are changing the asset class. So we are actually managing a different coin. Let's see if the transaction went through one minute ago. Yeah, it went through. So as you can see, we consume this 2000 A that we have in the wallet, give the rest back, and we created two UTXOs containing the two reference scripts we need. And also 19 ADA and 17 ADA that have to be locked with the reference script. This UTXO contains the collateral script and this UTXO contains the stablecoins minting policy script. And if we go to the transaction is C50. So if we navigate and see the UTXOs, here in the C50 transaction created three UTXOs, the one containing the collateral, the collateral validator, the one containing the minting policy and the change back. I also have previous UTXOs for previous tests. So the collateral validator is index zero and the minting policy index one. So let's go. And now we're going to act as users because each time we deploy a new stablecoin, the reference UTXOs change. I chose to put them as input. So the only thing we have to do is paste the hash of the UTXO and the collateral was the zeroth. And the minting policy was the first. And now we ask the DAP to try to find this UTXO. If we hit this button and it finds it, it should allow us to mint stable coins. Awesome. It found the UTXO, so we are ready to mint stable coins. For that, we are going to change again to user one. As you can see, user one has only ADA. Let's refresh this. And because we deployed with a minimum log percentage of 150, if we want to mint 10 stable coins, 10 US dollars, we have to lock 15 ADA because with the current Oracle, one ADA is one US dollar. Okay, so let's mint. Mint stable coins. I'm going to mint 10 stable coins. So the asset is 100 USD Pioneer. And I'm spending 15 ADA. That is paid to this contract, the collateral contract. Go back. Awesome. Transaction submitted. Just in case. But now if we wait for a bit, oh, right there. Awesome. So we have our stable coins. Congratulations. But I'm still interested in the actual transaction. Let's go to the transaction. As you can see, as input, we provide only ADA. But as an output, we have 10 USDPs. And we pay to a contract 15 ADA. And as you can see here, it says that we minted USDP. If we go back, if we take a look at this UTXO's datum here, this is the datum that has all the information needed to burn or liquidate this locked collateral. This has been serialized, but here it's the owner, the actual minting policy that we're using, and the amount of stable coins minted, you have to burn to unlock it. So let's do that. Let's burn them. So the 
transactions was 0, 01 BC and the UTXO is index 0. As you can see, it contains 15 ADA and the datum we just saw. So if we copy this, index 0, I want to unlock this specific collateral. Here I have the choice to either burn or liquidate. In this case, I'm burning them because they are my own. And the units that I have to provide, I have to match the ones in the datum. So in this case, 10. I'm going to get the collateral. It found it. Awesome. So now let's burn our stable coins. As you can see, I'm unlocking the value and give it back to me and I'm losing 10 USDPs. Now I have to wait for a bit. I copy this one just in case something failed. But if you open the inspector and check the console, you will see that everything we've done has been locked. There you go. Awesome. As you can see, the last transaction, we gained the 14 ADA with 15 without the fist, and we lost our stable coins. We check the transaction. As you can see, 10 USDPs go in, but none goes out. And as you can see, the mint says that we burn 10 USDPs. Perfect. Now, let's create the situation when one user liquidates another. Let's close this, this, and this. Going back to the previous situation, I'm going to mint again. Same as before, sign. Wait for a bit. Actually, we don't need to wait. We can just keep going with user two. User two also doesn't have any stable coins but user two is going to mint 50. And in this case, because we are minting 50 stable coins, we have to provide 75 ADA at the price of one US dollar, one ADA. But this user is more cautious and it chooses to provide even more collateral. For example, maybe we can provide 90 or 100. So in this case, we are providing more than 150% of the collateral for this price. So in the case that the price of ADA provided by the Oracle drops by a bit, this user will be fine. But user one that was just at the threshold will be in serious trouble. Before minting, let's check user two. Yeah, let's update. Perfect. Mint table coins. We are locking 100 ADA and getting 50 US dollars. Transaction submitted. Now we have to wait, but I think user one should already have. Yeah, user one already got his stable coins. Now we have to wait for user two. Awesome, user two also has the 50 stable coins it minted. So let's say that time passes and the Oracle updates the price. Let's change to the Oracle. The Oracle updates the price and now ADA is no longer a hundred cents, but 19 cents. Let's see, just in case, Oracle, yeah, we're ready to go. Update Oracle. Sign. And if we take a look at this Oracle UTXO with NFT, this should change. 
and the Oracle datum, the price, the price and the Oracle's datum should also change. We have to wait for a bit. There you go. So we have a new Oracle UTXO with the NFT. The actual UTXO changed, but because the NFT is still there, the smart contracts will ignore the exact UTXO and just check that if the NFT is there, that's the right Oracle. I don't care anything else. And the current price now is 90 cents per ADA. So now, because user one minted just at the threshold, user two can liquidate users one position. So let's go to the user section. And if we go to user one and see that this transaction, let me see the transaction itself. Awesome. We looked at the users one transaction and we can see that index zero contains 15 lovelaces and the, dat the datum says that you have to provide 10 stable coins. So let's do just that. Let's change this collateral to the new one with index zero. This is the collateral of user one but we're going to use user two to claim it because we are actually liquidating a position. And because user one needed 10 stable coins, we just need to provide 10 stable coins. So let's get the collateral. Awesome. Born on liquidate stable coin. We are providing 10 USDPs and getting 15 ADA back. Remember that we are liquidating someone else's position. So these 10 USDPs are worth way less than the collateral we're getting back. There you go. We have to wait for a bit. User two still has 50. So if we wait for a bit, we should have 40 and 15 more ADA. Awesome. There you go. And that's pretty much it. We can create the coins, we can burn them, we can liquidate someone else's position. So that's pretty much the whole thing. Here we just explore the happy path, but you can try to break things. In this case, I'm going to open the console, clear everything. And if, for example, I try to mint a hundred stable coins, but with only 15 ADA lock and try to mint them, I get the error that the minted amount exceeds the maximum allowed. This maximum possible mint is calculated based on the amount of collateral trying to be locked and the value of the Oracle. 